Welcome to our web exclusive. I'm Mike Montecalvo along with Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio. General, we have in-depth coverage on the identity of the ISIS member seen in a number of those uh, graphic videos we've been seeing, the uh, beheadings that have taken place. We've learned he has a, a British accent. They're calling him Jihad John. And we're also finding out he's coming from a very good family. So it kind of brings up the whole topic is they're not just looking for people who are homeless that have no families. They're looking for educated people, too. Absolutely right. They're looking for educated people who have a way of obviously uh, capturing those that want to join for other reasons. You know, specifically those that are looking for a cause uh, or absence of their own cause, but they're not aware of the consequences of making the decision to join ISIS. So this individual is probably uh, very much a representative of the kinds of leadership positions they have within ISIS. Now, we've learned he went to Syria. He traveled to Syria in 2012. What do you make of all of that? Uh, well, once again, I think before he left that to go to Syria, he had several incidents uh, involving the uh, British authorities. So I think that may have given him some kind of uh, ability to, to justify what he was doing. So I think what he was doing here is making a statement, using this as a reason, a justification, to be able to join ISIS and give it a cause. Now, he claims the beheading is because of the uh, foreign policy by the United States. Just an excuse at this point? What is excuse. he looking for? meaningful to them as justification to conduct terrorism uh, in the name of uh, Islam. So there's no real main basis for, for any of this? I don't think so. Uh, and I think if you look at each of these individuals, going way back to the, the people that planned 9-11, all the way through what we're experiencing now, most of these people had intelligence. They had some, certainly Osama bin Laden, a very wealthy man in that whole family, as well as his followers, uh, had no reason to gain any kind of monetary gain, but certainly to join some uh, remarkable uh, justification in their mind. ISIS has gained a lot of traction in the last couple of years. Why? I think it much has to do with, once again, people who are looking for a cause with no justification for the cause. They think it's a grand thing to do, to join this apparently worldwide effort. Uh, but once they get there, however, they may find it very different, and they become the casualty. Okay, and the debate has been going on, General, that this is a war on terror and it's going to continue forever. We should deal with it now because we're dealing from strength. Mike, the first thing that any administration needs to do is to identify who the enemy is. We need to identify it as radical Islam. And unless we do that, you're wide open because you don't have the backing of the, the conservative Islam uh, personnel out there or people who don't believe in the radical approach that this ISIS is taking. There has to be a definitive identification and we have to make certain that we, if, we're going to, if we do this, it has to be now rather than give them more capability and certainly have other countries, specifically Iran, to develop a nuclear weapon. All right. And of course, the story is fluid. We're going to stay on top of it. General, thank you for your thoughts and thanks for watching.